message after the tone. Hey, Dad. It's me. Man, I know it's been a long time since we talked. I was, you know, I was kind of hoping you'd answer, but um, I understand that you probably don't want to talk to me. I've just gone so far, and the things I've done, I, I just regret it, you know. And I know how bad I've hurt you and let you down, but, but Dad, I. I miss you. I miss how we drive around and just talk about life. And I just, I just want to come home. But I know you've probably written me off. I can't blame you, actually. Here's, here's, here's the thing. <laughs> it's kind of a shot in the dark, but I'm, uh, I'm coming through town soon, and and I'd really just like to see you. I know I can't just show up at the front door like I used to, but but if you want to see me, just hang a small sheet out on the porch. And if the sheet isn't there when I drive by, I'll keep going, and and I'll try not to bother you anymore. I love you, Dad. of Jesus. This particular parable is known as the prodigal son. It is found in Luke chapter 15 and is a part of a larger chapter that talks about three lost things, the lost sheep, the lost coin, and essentially this story of the lost son. I want to deal with this particular parable in the larger context of also understanding the gospel of Luke. Welcome again to series 66. As we take our way through the Bible, looking at each book of the Bible, focusing on one particular passage or theme or understanding that's in the Bible. Now, of course, the Gospels are foretellings of the story of Jesus, but they all come from a different perspective. And the Gospel of Luke can best be described as Jesus seeking the least, the last, and the lost. Throughout the Gospel, Jesus is found looking for those who are lost who are marginalized to the edges of society and who need to know the power of love, the love of God and the love of a savior found in Jesus Christ. And this story, this is beautifully told in the story of the prodigal son found in Luke chapter 15. The, the video that you just saw showed the son who was desperately wanting to reconnect with his father, but felt like he had done too many things, had been gone too long and had gone far away. In Jesus' telling, the son, who is the prodigal, runs off uh, with his inheritance, and essentially when he asks his father this, if he could have his inheritance, he's simply uh, and shortly asking his uh, father, wishing that his father was dead so that he could get what's, quote, due to him after his dad is gone. 
Now, surprisingly, the father doesn't get angry and shoo his son away and says that he's selfish and mean and ugly. He gives him what he asks for. This is the first lesson we learned in the story, is that God will often give us uh, the things that we ask for, uh, even when they don't uh, meet the best of our, the, what is best for us. But ultimately, he gives us those things so that we can come to an understanding and also see that our need for him, that even when we run ourselves into destruction, God is there to bring us back. This video beautifully illustrates how God is waiting and watching for us. In the story in the Bible, in Luke chapter 15, it, we are told that the Father is waiting and watching. And when the Son is approaching, the Son has all this anxiety about what he'll say to his Father and how it is that he will uh, approach his dad, seeking not to be brought back into the household, but just to be a servant of him. He would be happy just to eat the pod that the pigs were eating, he says earlier. But when the father, uh, when the son comes up, the father is waiting for him, and the father runs out, places a ring on his son's finger to signify he's part of the family again, and then also uh, prepares a party. In the video, at the beginning of this devotion, the son asks for a sign. Put up just a white sheet. Just one little sign that I know that when I come, you're ready to accept me. My friends, we are all lost. We are all least, and oftentimes we find ourselves last. But what the Gospel of Luke shows us is that God is waiting. God is ready to welcome us home, to bring us back. I hope it is, I hope it is today that you see this truth, that you understand the power of God in your life, that no matter what you've done, no matter how far you've gone away, God is ready to welcome you back. I hope that you can do that, not just today, but also throughout this week and into the rest of your life. If it's been a while since you've been to church, I invite you to come. We worship at 8.30 and 11 o'clock every Sunday morning. We also worship online through our YouTube channel at, uh, at 11 o'clock as well. I invite you to uh, participate and experience God in any of these settings so that you may know the power of God in your life, that you may see the sheet set out for you and ready to embrace the Father that wants you to be part of his family. God bless you.